fight for you. I denied myself all so that you will not lack. This is how you pay us this fund. This is how you reward us. All these years since your father died, this is all I get rusticated for court related activities. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm talking to you, Death Mode Mama, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? That's your answer, eh? This is how you repay me for all the sacrifices I made to see you through school. Since your father died, I tried to bring you up as best as I could. Where have I failed? Was your father a member of court or am I one? No, no, you don't understand. It's, it's understand not... what? Okay, I know what the problem is. You need a man's influence in your life. And your uncle has been asking us to move to Abuja. And that is what we are going to do. Mama, I'm not going to Abuja. You lost the right to decide on this matter. We are going to stay in Abuja and that is final. I guess. In your case, this one be your case about the service. Oh, fine, fine. Oh, amazing grace. <laughs> you have done it once again. My grace, you looked at my soul. Grace, well, meet my nephew, Desmond. Uh, Hi. Um, Brother Desmond, welcome to the family. Uh, Desmond, these are the people God is using mightily. Uh, uh, Brother Jim here manages the group. This, as you can see, God is using them marvelously well. Ah, you are wonderful. <laughs> uh, didn't you used to sing this one? Uh, yes, sir. That was a long time ago. So, mean you cannot sing again? Singing is, is a gift from God. I mean, no one uses the ability to learn to sing. It might just become rusty, but you <laughs> always learn how to sing. Oh, that's... Oh, so then... Why not you take him along with you to your group and try him out on something? Uh, what do you say, Brother Jim? Let him join us. Let him join us. Uh, Grace? 
Oh, right? fine with me. Oh, beautiful. Then, uh, that's more the. We'll see you folks later. We have some things to uh, do with your mom. Come on, come on that's one. Come on, that's one. Let's go, honey. Let's go. Oh, God. Where, where is he and Gloria for Christ's sake? Are you sure they are not in the music room waiting for us? But we agreed to meet here. So they are not here. Anyway. So, where are you from, Brother Desmond? Hey, 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 hey. Please, please, please. My name is Desmond. And I'm not done with this, your bro or brother stuff. Please. It's okay. Good. I will not call you brother again. As long as you call me Grace, because I'm not down with the amazing beat as well. Are you making fun of me? Of course not. Why should I? Um, why don't we check the music room for Simi and Gloria? Mm. This month, do you need to join us? Of course you'd love to join us. Telling amazing that we need someone who sing a tenor in our um, um. Hold your horses, sister dear. Allow him to settle down before you begin harassing and bombarding him with questions. Hi, cousin. I, I did I didn't know you sing. <laughs> um well I understand it's a little rusty now, but there's nothing that can be remedied. Uh that's one you play an instrument? We all play an instrument, but we prefer our old school Do you like old school possible? I can't remember ever telling any one of you that I wanted to sing. Did I? Oh, come on. That's a We love to sing, and I know we love to sing as well. Why don't you, why don't you join us? Huh? Look, uh, actually, we are just rehearsing. You could join us. Okay. Um, let's carry on with that rehearsal. One, two, three, go. Ikari ha sigibu, Jehovah Ikari ha sigibu. Ikari ha sigibu, Jehovah. Ikari ha sigibu. Ijebu be, Iwarama. Ikari ha sigibu. Ijebu be, Iwarama. Ikari ha sigibu. You were more than what people say. Jehovah, you were more than what people say. You were more than what people say. Jehovah, you are the King of Kings and a mighty God. You are more than what people say. You are the El Shaddai and the King of Kings. You are more than what people say. What's keeping this fish now? I, I want to leave this place. My spirit does not agree with this place. Amazing, calm down. It's going to take you a while, but trust me, it's very nice. You won't regret it at all. Very nice. Desmond, why are you suddenly restless? Oh, I need a smoke. A smoke, a smoke! I need a smoke! Oh, why don't you come out with it? With what? Oh, the normal talk. 
how uh, God is going to condemn me to eternal damnation, how I'm going to rot in hell. You know the normal blah, 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 blah talk. You're born against with your holier-than-thou attitude. Holier-than-thou attitude? So that's your impression of us. Oh, prove me wrong that your very first impulse was not to criticize me. It was not. Liars. Liars, you all. Oh, really, it was not. So what was then in your mind? I was just wondering if it was cigarettes or Indian hemp or hard drugs. Oh, really? A young lady. I don't do Igbo or hard drugs. Thank God for that. What's that supposed to be? That is only cigarettes and not hard drugs. For I fear drug addicts. Oh. So you fear. Now you know, that's good. It's nice. Fear is good. Listen to me, Desmond. This your hard man impression, no doubt impresses your schoolmates. But my dear, this is the real world. I think you should grow up. Did I hear you say a hard man impression? Did I hear you say that? Come, you know the fear? Do you know who you're talking to? Now listen, young lady. I'll let that slide because of your ignorance. But don't you ever, don't you ever in your life talk like that to me again. Don't you ever, don't dare talk to me again like that. Please, I, I don't want to. Hush! Now the word is born again. Not born against. Ah. I'd really appreciate it if you do not distort that word. Desmond, I know who you are. Or should I say who you might be if only you give God a chance? There is no doubt you're a bad person, you're a dangerous person, there's no doubt about it. I'm sure at some point or the other you might have maimed or possibly killed someone. But what did you gain from it? At least an arm driver, an arm driver does it for money. A prostitute does it for money. What do you derive from making people scared of you? Do I tell you? God. Power! Power! The greatest aphrodisiac. Power, girl, power! Power! Power means everything! It defines it! Power! No, I don't understand how making people scared of you at the mere sight of you can be translated to power. To the best of my knowledge. I think it's only a masquerade that people see and fear. Hey! You called me a masquerade? Did you call me a masquerade? Now listen to me, young lady. So many people have said less than what you said and ended up in misery all through their lives. You called me what? You called me what? Amazing, please stop. I don't want you people to fight. Jesus. I said I shouldn't fight. I said you won't lie. This won't stop. stop. Hush! Why don't you just go and report me to your father? Or even report me to God in heaven? I'm tired and sick of you fake, fake people. Fake all of you. God. I'm sorry I did not mean it as a challenge. But you see... You're an intelligent, handsome young man who no doubt will make a good father someday. But you have let the devil oh, take oh, up. Oh, oh. Just cut that crap about the devil, okay? Just cut it. What do you know about the real world? You spoiled little rich girls who have answers to everything. What do you know about the real world? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. But what makes you think? I'm a spunk little rich girl. Who bought that car for you? Your sugar daddy? Come, I thought you born against don't do such things. I, I thought you don't do wrongs. Once again, the word is born again and not born against. I would really, really appreciate it if you do not distort that word again. For your information, I saved money from suing while I was an undergraduate to buy that car. <laughs> okay. 
I know your family. I know your family is more financially comfortable than my family. I don't know what your idea of survival is, but I saw myself through university. Can you sincerely and honestly say the same thing for yourself, Desmond? Once again, the world is born again and not born against. I would really, really appreciate it if you give me this one For your information, I saved money from Sue while I was in the world. <laughs> I know your family. I know your family is more financially Hello. comfortable than me. Chandelier, of course. So, what are you doing? And what do you want? Can't you ever be simple for me? Must you always be troublesome? Young lady, if you do not have anything to do, why don't you go read a book? Preferably the book of Esther. Or no better still. Why don't you just go and bind a few devils, you know? It will keep you busy. You know what? At times I, I don't even know why I bother. Good. So be a good girl and just scram. What are these people turning me into? What are you doing? Oh, uh, uh, nothing, nothing, man, nothing. Go get me my glasses from the best side table in my bedroom. It's all right, man. for me, God.
Father, let me call thee Father. Tis the child we returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins and I'll detest them. Never will I sin Requires from us a song, and how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? So let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in the sight of oh, oh. Wow. That was lovely. You sing very well. Desmond. Of course, why do you ask? Can't you hear the music? What's churchy about it? <laughs> Desmond. Hello, hey. birthday girl. Hey. There you were. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was beginning to wonder what happened to you. My dear, I'm so sorry. I had to stop to a bigger Desmond. Oh, brother. Oh, Desmond, you're welcome. Thank you. Please enjoy yourself. Thank you. Please excuse me. Okay. <laughs> All right, dear. Oh, oh happy birthday, darling. To rap music, yet you don't want to serve drink. So, who says, who says you can't? Worship the Lord with rap music. This is a gospel song. This music? Yes. Are you judging me? No. Who sang it? Kirk Franklin. <laughs> this one, look, there is actually, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you enjoying yourself. After all, God said, uh, make a joyful noise unto his name. Right? Picture on, baby. Do you know what? You're just simply impossible. I'm going to get you something to drink. We're not serving liquor here, so you have to make do with what we have. But you can have water. Whatever. Hey, don't bother, baby. I'm going to get myself a smoke. I don't get a biggie here. I get a... You are sure it's this morning, so... Can you mistake him? If you're too scared to confront him, say so and stop asking him foolish questions. I have warned you about running your mouth at me. You will only get hurt. Why not go and hurt someone who needs hurting and leave me alone? Yes, I'm sure he's desperate. He even sent me a message to you. Oh, he did, eh? So what is the message? He said I should tell you he can outwit you anytime, anywhere, that you are a wimp. That cockroach has been like the proverbial cat with nine lives, but has just used up all his life. His mouth shall be his undoing. I'll believe that when I see it. He shall go down, and I will make sure I bring Desmond down right in the church. He feels he can find protection in the church, but I'll tell him that no one can escape the wet dogs when they are out for blood hunts. What do you mean by bringing him down with You church? hate me. Ah. Do it somewhere else. Mama and I attend that church. And what is my business with which church you and Mama attend? Desmond has been the genesis of my problem because of the war he started when he attacked you. And I and my brothers were rusticated. Is that not why Mama decided to have nothing? to do with me. That cockroach don't shit plenty. I will make sure I wash his face with that shit.
my tears I give you praise And you all are Cause you are highly lifted up You are highly lifted up You are highly lifted up Awesome, awesome God Hey Yeah You want a beer? Nope, I don't do beer. Oh. I've got a Sprite. Of course, I do know that born against don't drink alcohol. Well, if I were you, I would not say that. I would not put it that way. What other way is there to talk about it? Tell me. I understand you attended um, Little Sicily, didn't you? Hey. How did you know about that name? Oh, let me talk, Desmond. If you did, you must have heard of The Undertaker. Ah! That's the name of a legend. He was a man among men, the most rugged student on campus. Every fresh initiate is told his story. We aspired to be like him. Tell you what. He outdrank, outsmart, outfought. Oh my God! Jesus! How did you know about an information that only made men should know? I am he of whom we speak. You are Undertaker? Oh, come on. That's impossible. Do you solve this guy? There's no other life to live. If, if you are Undertaker, what are you doing hanging among these losers? Don't tell me you are incognito. Are you on assignment? Who, who, who do you want to hit? Oh, most venerable Don. I am still loyal to you. Send me. Desmond. I could still do it. Desmond. Listen to the advice of a brother. A brother who has seen it all, heard it all, and has done it all, and yet is alive, still alive to tell it all, by God's grace. Des, if you say you've got a great deal of respect for the Undertaker, if you regard the Undertaker, then you must listen to me. If you have heard so much about the Undertaker, then you must have heard of how much he used to drink. Oh, yes! He was a man among men. Uh, we were told that he could he could down 16 bottles of big stout at a go. Do you know why he drank that much? Because he was a made man. No. He drank. Look, I I drank that much. I drank that much because because I wanted to deaden my conscience. Because I was living in perpetual fear. I was living in terror. I, I needed to drink and get high. I, 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 I was running away from even my shadow. Look, I was running away from, from what I cannot even see. Look, I heard you call the Capone. So you know what I'm talking of. You know that fear that someday you might just be hit in an ambush? That fear that you might be walking on the street and somebody gets you? That fear? I lost sleep. You feel me? Brother, you feel me? It was that fear that I was engulfed in. That fear that made me drink so much, that made me become notorious. That fear that made me become a vagabond, a street boy. That fear that robbed me of everything. Because in all that confusion that I got in it is the sin and grace. God bless them. They introduced me to Jesus. It was they who introduced me to the Lord Jesus Christ that saved my soul. Look, I don't drink and smoke any longer because at one point in my life, beer became an idol in my life. Uh, 
how do you people toast babes? I learned uh, there's something going on between you and uh, Simi. Well, that's true. But why do you ask? No, I was just wondering, you know, I mean, how you could date for that long and no action. Action. That sort of action will amount to fornication. <laughs> really funny, man. Date a girl for that long, you don't even get time to sample her. Man, how possible is that? Desmond, it's all in the mind. It's all here. Look, <clears throat> fine. Sometimes the temptation arises, okay? Fine. But you guard your heart, your heart against it. And try not to put yourself in a place where that kind of thing will come about. I mean, like you and the girl being alone together. Uh, that Naturi you hear? I know guys on campus who cut shoes. I mean, these are all the things that make me call the whole syndrome born against. It's all a scope. Look, Desmond, call it whatever. Okay? But I want you to remember that in life, for every one genuine thing, there are always fakes. You know, and I, I, I don't like this thing, the way you go about condemning people and things. It, 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 it's awful. Look, it's a different thing if you don't like something because you don't like it. But don't condemn it because, because, don't, don't, don't condemn it because somebody else does a bad, bad job at it. That's not the way. <laughs> well, you know something? Uh, that's true talk. I give it up for you guys. Thank you. But this, let me tell you something. You got to be careful. What's up? Desmond, run as much as you want. In fact, rebel as much as you want to. Fight, condemn as much as you want to. But one thing I assure you, God will arrest you in his own time. He will. You think so? I know so. Is that right? You know, I'm getting quite uncomfortable with Desmond's presence around us. Why? The other day he asked me, he asked me how we toast babes. I have this funny feeling that he's trying to make passes at Greece. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm sure Grace will know how to gracefully turn him down. And that is a problem. Because I think Grace is slowly falling for you. <sighs> Dear Lord, I thought I was just paranoid. No, that won't do. I, I don't want Grace to get hot. Well, I think all we should do is keep watching and praying. Let's watch and pray. That young man is something else. This one has this way of coming into your life and leaving an impression. Gloria confided in me. That? She said Desmond has been pestering her, asking questions about Grace's likes and dislikes. Hmm. Be it as it may. I think you should be doing the talking. You should talk to her. I'll try. She needs to be careful. I like you. I respect you. 
liked him. He's nice, but he's not God's will. So let me say this first of all. You see, when we're waiting for God to help us make a decision, He's also waiting for us to briefly make a decision. I know what you're saying is true. But I can't help but to worry. I. I don't know. Look, see me, see me, look. 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 Worry will not change anything. That is what you preach. Trust in God and let Him handle the situation. Psalm 32, verse 8. I'll try. But tell you about relationship now. What's going on between me and Desmond? What do you mean what's going on between Desmond and Sister? Can't you see that our brother is beginning to like you? <laughs> Where did you get that impression from? Well, he's beginning to bug Gloria asking to know everything about you. Really? That's crazy. Is that what you need to say about it? What do you want me to say? Well, sister. Guard your heart, girl. Desmond is not a believer. And definitely he's not somebody you should be falling for. To me, come on, that's absurd. Anyway, I thought this talk was all about you. When did this suddenly become about me? <laughs> oh, now we're talking about you and... Please, just stop. Let's finish talking about you. <laughs> Before you be on my camera. <laughs> okay, how do you start, bro? I'm getting tired of this. Monday, Church Monday, Church Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. You all the have Where would you go? One is a time off now. God knows the rest. Let's go. Uh-uh.
Diplomatic crap people use in deceiving people and tell me how she's faring. All right, Desmond. Okay. All right. But whatever it is, it is just the doctor's opinion. Just the doctor's opinion. For God's sake, for God's sake, stop beating up out the bush. Desmond, I don't know what else you want me to say. It is well. My mother is dying, and all I get to hear from you is it is well. Desmond, she's my well. She's my old as well. Put yourself together. What do you want me to do? Instead of mourning and doing all this, why don't we just put hands together and pray for her like every other person is doing? That is out there praying with the church. Why don't we just do the same and stop cursing? I thought you wanted to tell me something serious. This one, this is something serious. This is something very serious. Listen. I don't want to ask you to be born again. I might be asking for too much. All I ask that you put hands together with me and pray for this woman. This morning, let's pray for your mother to heal her. Is that asking for too much? Because you always be stubborn this morning. Let's pray for her. You never want to believe anything. Can God help her? There's no harm in trying. Just believe God for once. Gamble. Just try. But uh, how do I ask him? How do I? Very simple. Let's just put our hands together. Believe and pray. Calm down. My mother is dying. I, I cast it. Pray. Pray like you mean it. Okay. Okay. In Jesus' name. Father, we glorify your name. That we bless you, O oh God. We adore you because there is no one like you. Father, this day we pray that you forgive all our sins. Anyway, we must have said that come short of your glory. But you say prayer of the sinners and abomination today. Father, this day I commit this morning into your hands, O oh God. I say, may you come and have your way in his life, O oh God. Right all his wrongs. Father, his mother, O oh God, I commit into your hands, O oh God. Father, heal her. Father, for in your word you said that by your stripes we are healed. O oh Lord, I believe so much in your word. Father, this day, O oh God, prove yourself to us, O oh God, because we believe in you. We know no other God than you. Heavenly Father, we bless your name, we worship you, O oh God. We thank you, we exalt your name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know you alone. Lord, I pass away by fire, we will be glorified forever. Amen. Alright, I'm going to cry, okay, to be well. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.
that made me become notorious, that fear that made me become a vagabond, a street boy. That fear that robbed me of everything was in all that confusion that I got to meet Sister Simi and Grace. God bless them. They introduced me to Jesus. It was they who introduced me to the Lord Jesus Christ that saved my soul. I don't want it to be like I'm driving you. There's no harm in trying. Just believe God for once. Gamble. Just try. Still here. Gloria said you were looking for me. That's right. I I decided to wait. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I was suddenly burdened to pray. It happens like that sometimes when I feel I just have to pray. Are you okay? You've been awfully quiet today. I hope I hope there's no problem. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, you people have been around me for quite some time now, around my whole life, I mean, you born against. And there are some sort, you know, some sort of, uh, what's the word again, doctrine surrounding this whole thing about born again, you uh, like uh, the Holy Spirit thing and yes, this whole issue about the Holy Spirit. What is the proof? Well, I hope I can answer all your questions to your satisfaction. To start with, it is not born against, it is born again. And secondly, it is not about doctrine. It's about, it's about your personal relationship with God. You have still not answered my question. You love your mother, don't you? Uh, everybody should love his or her mother, of course. Good. So what's the proof of that love? What kind of dumb question is that? I love my mother. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's exactly the point. If you're looking for something tangible to hold on to, it will be difficult. But Desmond, I know that even with your reservations, you know that there's a God somewhere out there. There is love. You can show love. But to touch it will be difficult. And it does not mean that love does not exist. Grace, now you're trying to confuse me. What has love got to do with the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is love. Okay, let me use myself as an example. You see, I was adopted by a Christian family from an orphanage. You? I'm sorry. It's okay. There's, there's really nothing to be sorry about. Well, as I was saying, I was adopted by a Christian family. I went to church, I sang in a choir, I prayed, I did everything religiously, but I still did not have a personal relationship with God, until a year before my parents died. Died? Hey, you never told me all this. You never asked. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. There's, there's really nothing to be sorry about. Um, I found peace knowing that I'll reunite with them someday. Now, now, there you go again. People have a way of just hopping about uh, uh, peace, this, peace. Uh, it, it gets so confusing. I mean, 
Well, maybe if you let me finish. Okay, okay. Continue. It was a year before their death that I gave my life to Christ. How did you do that? I attended this crusade and then the speaker really broke things down to me. He made me realize, or he made me understand that part of the Bible that says, God wants us to be at peace with our fellow human beings and himself. He made me understand that part of the Bible where Jesus said, this commandment I give to you is the greatest of all. What commandment? Love your God with all your might. Love thy neighbor as thyself. That's one that you can do justice to. You would please God. Now, that is deep. It's not as deep as you think. Trust me. Yes, uh, it's about uh, what we discussed the other day. Which day? Uh, I am uh, uh, to, to be candid. Uh, it's this one. You, 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 you know, I, I, I could try, but I, I know I can't, I can't be... You, you know what I mean. But, but simply put it, I, 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 I... You know what? I like you. I, I could try. I, I, I'm, I'm doing well. I, I even read the Bible. And guess what? I now speak in tongues. Hey, you just watch me. Hey, Rukebe Sheke Pocha Pala. Reche Kupu Popali Poche Pata. Reke Pacha Pose Japalipo. Reke Pacha. Pepo Pose Tapa. Cheche Pralepo Peko Sibra. Do you think this is funny? Don't you know that the only sin God never forgives is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? But, but I'm just trying Excuse to... Excuse me! Uh, uh, no, Grace, you Grace. I swear to God, if you come near me, I will do something that I will regret! Nonsense. What did I do? Who told you? He did. He wants me to apologize to you and find out what he did wrong. Well, I guess he wouldn't understand that it has been so bastardized. I really shouldn't blame him. What has been bastardized? He came, <clears throat> he came to me yesterday and started demonstrating how he could speak in tongues and all that. So uh, I got very mad at him. <laughs> My cousin is such a case. <laughs> well, I guess I owe him an apology as well. He, he meant no harm, really. Oh, see me. That's Jane. Let me go give him a helping hand. You like that boy, don't you? I don't understand you. Sister, I'm your best friend. I know how all the unmarried men in church are clamoring for you. Yet you chose to hang out with him. You should see how Paul looks when you and Desmond walk past. Poor Paul. I guess I've been unfair to him. But the truth is, I don't see us together. And I really don't know why. Do you see you and Desmond together? I've, I've never thought about it. And besides, he's not born again. Well, born again or not born again, 
I think you should think. You should put some distance between both of you. I... I don't want to see you get hot. Well, let me go look for that husband of mine before Gloria steals him. See me. God help you. You know, I didn't know you were born against. Oh, um, as I was saying, but I was looking to I didn't know you were born against the natural music. Such music, talkless of which I mean. At 
least. Will you marry me? Desmond proposed to Chris last night. It was so romantic. I heard that he took her to a very cool place and proposed. Oh! I'm very happy for her. But what do you think is too sudden? I mean, he's a young Christian. What is wrong with that? They both love one another. I think it was love at first sight. <laughs> Only that Grace was so naive to see it. Oh, see me, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, what has been happening to you, slow coaches? Don't you think it's time you and Jim will tie the knot or better release him for we SSS? And what's that? Single and still searching. <laughs> I will lay hands on you. <laughs> if I see you anywhere near Jim, I will lay hands on you. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. I was only to see you. <laughs> but seriously, what are you guys still waiting for? I honestly do not know. I believe God's mm. time is the best. Don't blame God for your follies. You are the one slagging. If it were me, sharp, sharp. Mm. <laughs> you are that dude. Um, Lara, are you taking two eggs? <laughs> okay. Antinatal. Uh, how was it? Fine. And how is Junior kicking? He's kicking as usual. It's well. <laughs> it is well, of course. Um, Simi took some more blood. She wants to run some more tests. She did? Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. Of course, all is well. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> oh, my God. So, how was work today? Well, God is good. Uh, just that I, I, I think combining business and Christianity is indeed a Herculean task. But you know what? His grace is sufficient. Darling, God says 
His grace is sufficient for all of us. That's right, baby. Look at me. Look at me preaching to my husband. Instead of feeding him, go and change. But I'm not complaining. Go, go, go and change. Can't wait to crack your plates, baby. Oh, go and change. Yeah, it's been a day. All right. Hello, Simi. Uh, it's me, please. Uh, uh, sorry. W waking you up. Uh, uh, the, the, there's a situation here. My wife. She's so hot, sweating. I, what? Okay, okay. I, I'll see what I can do. Alright. Just, just be good. Let me dress up and take it to the hospital, right? Okay? And I just wait. been able to stabilize our temperature oh uh, temperature has been stabilized okay. my main concern is the baby I don't know but I think she might lose it that's serious I didn't know her illness is that bad by the way what's wrong with her uh, my guess is either typhoid or malaria but by tomorrow the test shall give us a better oh. diagnosis now, where is brother Desmond? I saw him a minute ago. Oh, Desmond. Well, Desmond is gone out with my husband. They went to the house to get something. You know, they came in here in a hurry. Poor man. Well, like I always say, it could have been worse. Are you on duty? It's my day off. All the same, I have to wait here till the result is out. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I'll see you. I'm sorry. Father, hear my daughter. 
Give her the glory in the name of Jesus. I don't know what to make of it. It's so strange. It's very strange. Don't worry. Both of you will give testimony. She will be alright. Okay? Thanks. You've really been a source of encouragement since you joined this hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. very grateful. I wish there was more I could do. Wait, I started the chat. It did not run any HIV testing. No, I ruled that out. Why? Why? Because Grace cannot have HIV. <laughs> is that a medical assumption or is it a personal one? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, hello, ma'am. Yes, I'm on my way now. Thank you. That's um. That's Dr. Emanuela, the lab scientist. Uh, I've got to run here. Okay. I'll oh, see you later. have them do a CD4 test on her. Why an HIV test? <laughs> have you carried out one yet? No, I didn't. I, I see no need for it. I mean, I know the patient. And uh, she can't have HIV. Well, I'm sorry. But that's the best suggestion I can offer right now. I think the test I would have recommended for you to carry it. You have done already. Maybe there is something we are overlooking. Well, I would suggest you carry out a CD4 test on her. At least that will even eliminate that possibility. Just send the news over to her heart so I can have a good success on the test. Thank you. Not please. I've known her for over 10 years. She can't have HIV. I'm sending her to you. Thank you very much. So why not have them do a CD4 test on her? I did not see you do any HIV test on her. I think the best thing to do is just carry out the CD4 test on her. At least that would eliminate that possibility. Why? Because she can't have HIV. Is that a medical assumption or is it a personal one? No. No. I reject it in Jesus' name. The devil is trying to pull a fast one. I reject this result in Jesus' name. This is the result of the last time we test we carried out of place. As you can see, it shows that 
Greece is HIV and has now developed into full blown AIDS. to know. I thought I had gone past this sickle cell age. You have it. What? Oh my god. Have you told us me? trying different drug combinations. We call them cocktails to find which is more effective. But what are the chances? I don't really know much about this AIDS thing. <sighs> Medically, the strain you have is the deadliest. But you see, you are a child of God. And I know this is just a trial. Poor Desmond. Poor him. I'm sure he's going through hell now. Tell him. You will have to do some tests. Simi, could you please help me tell Daddy and the others so that we can all pray? Grace, I'd like you to keep the feet up. There is no miracle God cannot do, okay? Just take it easy, okay? My faith, my faith lies in the hands of God. Let's all begin to pray. God. It's okay. She can't be. I, I, I was here when you called Papa and his mother. See me, tell me what is it. Tell me what's wrong. Chris is HIV positive. Desmond has killed her. Jesus Christ. Are, are you sure of what you're talking about? Honey, we've done all the tests. Every one, and this that is the most deadliest of all. 
this will hit this man badly. He gave it to her. Yes, he gave, he gave it to her. But uh, it's not possible now. Honey, I knew Grace. She knew no man before she got married to him. See me, I was there. I was there when the church asked, asked him to go for, for his premarital test. They did that, their HIV or what do you call it, test. And he, he, he was given a clean bill of health. Yes, in a documented case where someone tests negative and two months later he tests positive. So, so how come he has not, he has not, um, how do you tell them? Why has not manifested all those symptoms um, HIV, AIDS patients carry? Um, wow. You see, because of Grace's SS status, coupled with the pregnancy, it, it complicated her situation. So, so, so are you saying, are you saying the drugs you'll be giving them will be ineffective? We are trying various cocktails to know whichever one that will, that will be effective. But honestly, Grace. What about the blood thing you were talking about the other time? I see the four count is very low. It is totally low. So we cannot have a transfusion. So you're saying she cannot be given blood? Yes. Because it can lead to a situation called lysis. If something miracle happens, Grace is going. We can't lose her. I know of the man who does all the miracles. His name is Jesus. So that we have to pray. The Bible says that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. The Bible says that in all things, and this is one of those things, let's pray, so that let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Father, Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you for our sister Grace. Lord, the Bible says that by your stripes, we are healed. Lord, you say you will refresh in our bones, you will heal our bodies, Lord. Father, at this moment, we capitalize on the blood of Jesus. We capitalize on the word that says that. person behaves look at you you are drunk yes mama I'm drunk and I will still drink because I realized my mistake believing that wicked man called God mama leave me leave me leave me you are part of my problem God this, God that, God that, you never told me this God is a cruel God, a wicked God. You are part of my problem, I said. It. You don't know what you are saying. May God forgive you. No, Mama. No, you don't know what you are saying. It is He who God, the God who needs forgiveness for me because He betrayed me. He betrayed me. <laughs> I will not listen to any more of this nonsense. You have better clean up your act and go see your wife. You abandon her when she needs you most. Oh, it is me she needs now, not God. No. You people should leave me alone. You people should go. You people should go. <laughs> Let me end up here. <laughs> 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 
About, about his Christian life, but because he, he... Maybe if you go straight to the point you're trying to make, it will help us. The point is, this one has been drinking. It's not as if I want to carry out a rumor here, but the other day I saw him stabbing out from a beer parlor. There are numerous reasons why one could go to a beer parlor, Lara. Name one. I, I really do not want to delve into that. Desmond is ordered, like I am. But you don't go hanging around in a beer parlor. It is well. It is well. Grace will get healed. God will never let his own down. presence around us. Why? Be it as it may. I think you should be doing the talking. You should talk to her. Okay. She needs to be careful. She's got to be very careful. Oh, Chris. Desmond proposed to Chris last night. Hi. It was so romantic. I heard that he took her to a very cool place and proposed. Oh! I've been happy for her. But what do you think is too solid? I think he's a young Christian. What is wrong with that? They both love one another. I think it was love at first sight. <laughs> Only that Grace was so naive to see two eggs. <laughs> Coming. Simi. You and I know you infected her. Simi, please. I did not infect anybody. I have known Grace for the better part of her life. When you married her, was she not a virgin? That's when you infected her. And for your information, you had better go and do that first. But do no such thing. Simi, please. I respect you. Save your respect! Desmond. You know what? Right now, I am trying not to hate you. If I had the strength, I would have beaten you black and blue. God will not forgive you this month for what you did to my friend. God will punish you this What are you waiting for? Beat! Hate! Insult! I'm a monster, right? It's okay. Don't ever call me. I killed her, right? I killed Grace, right? God! service to do.
do. I will be happier if I am not witnessing all the happenings around. What happenings might you be referring to? See me. A sad episode of a beautiful girl who made the mistake of marrying an unbeliever. Lying sick in bed and all her husband does is to jump from one paper lot to the other. Yara, the words that come out of your mouth sometimes. Yara, take heed that ye do not judge, so that you shall not be judged. I am not judging. I am only saying the truth. Before your husband traveled, he was practically older in the hospital. But not this month. One who should be more concerned. Anyway, let me breathe my tongue. Let me wear it up. Let us go. Well, I hope I can answer all your questions to your satisfaction. To start with, it is not burn against it is born again and secondly it is not about doctrine it's about it's about your personal relationship with God that's exactly the point if you're looking for something tangible to hold on to it will be difficult but Desmond I know that even with your reservations you know that there's a God somewhere out there there is love. You can show love. But to touch it will be difficult. And it does not mean that love does not exist. Holy Spirit is love. Okay, let me use myself as an example. You see, I was adopted by a Christian family from an orphanage. It's okay. There's, there's really nothing to be sorry about. Um, I found peace knowing that I'll reunite with them someday. I have known Grace for the better part of her life. When you married her, was she not a virgin? That's when you infected her. And for your information, you had better go and do that first. Oh, yeah. You have come to chastise me too. Simi told me of your visit. She was just upset. You know how it is with women. So, what are you? What have you come for? I just came to sit with you. She's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I know. Prajeep, I can't understand. I don't understand. Why is this happening to her? She does not deserve it. It's not fair. Oh God, this is not right. And you sitting back at home is not right either. It doesn't help matters if you sit back here. This, this is the time you show her how much you love and care for her. She needs your love. Oh Jim, I'm human. Simi says I infected her and in all probability, it's possible. 
What do I face her? What do I tell her? You don't need to say a word. You don't have to say anything. You just have to be there for her. That's all. Just be there for her. Look, Desmond. Grace is dying slowly. Grace is dying. I killed my wife. It's, it's not like I don't have faith. We have to accept the probability. Even when we keep going, you, you, you have to get, get to see her. I killed my wife. I killed my wife. The wrong I killed my wife. I killed Get hold of yourself, brother. Go on. This is not fair. This one is strong. The test was a mistake. We should claim healing by faith. I will make arrangement with anyone who would like to do a prayer of agreement. We will not do any test again. Where in God's name is Desmond? I hope what his mother is telling me is not the truth. Pastor, we've not seen him. Daddy, we need to look for Desmond. He's in a terrible situation. The last time I saw him, I did not like the state he was at all. I think you people should go look for him. And when you see him, you tell him we want to see him. I think so. We shall be leaving now, sir. Thank you, my dear. Go in peace. It will be well. Don't look at the storm. Look unto God. All will be well, okay? okay. Gloria, are you ready? Yeah. yeah, I am. I am. Let me just go pick up something. I'll meet you. Okay. Daddy, mommy. It's okay. I think we are overcoming this problem. What does this one think he is doing? for 
you to continue to fight. When in God's time, you make everything beautiful. And yes. And then, just be strong for me. I will. You don't leave me. Don't leave me. Please. My son cannot stay here and pray for the wife. Oh, I will say that here and pray for my daughter-in-law. She will not die. My I know our strength is in the Lord. We shall not be weak. Let us pray. We want to thank you because you have given life more abundantly. Your words say the road of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. I have to go to church. Please. Well, now, uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, Desmond was here earlier. But you were asleep then. Call him. See me. I don't know which hurts me most. I don't know if it's the sickness or the misery he's in. I don't know. It's me. Please do me this favor. No matter what happens, I want you and Jean to take good care of him for me. Please. It's okay, Grace. It's okay. I'll see what I can do. Let me go arrange your jeans bond. Thank you. I'll be with you shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. It is not over until it's over. Let us give thanks to God for the miracle he has performed. We all came together as one to pray and fast. Today, grace is seated in our midst. Let's give a clap offering to God as she comes up to give a word or two to you.
my brothers and sisters. I, I want to thank you all for your visits, your prayers, your kindness. I heard you swamped the hospital the other day and scared the management. Thank you. God bless you all. I have a burden which I want to share with all of you. I'm sure you all know the Lord's prayers. Please remember these words. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Brethren, please ponder on these words in your own quiet time. I'll, I'll leave it at that. And I would like to sing a song. Oh, cross where the dearest and fairest. 
Search for him everywhere. I still haven't got him. What still all his phones are off. Maybe it is for the best. Everybody is upset with him. They think he abandoned Grace, but she must still dead him. Even so, we we have to forgive him. The truth is, we all miss Grace. Her death still remains a puzzle. But then. This is the time we all have to gather around this one. This one needs us now the most. He needs us now the most. So Dad, I keep praying to God. I pray to God to give me the grace not to hate this man. <laughs> Thank you. Darling. Yeah. Darling, you really have to pray. <laughs> There's no reason why you should hate I mean, if God, who is our God, can forgive us, then how much less we can Are you my grace? Are you my shame in grace? I knew it was the devil pulling one of his pranks. I immediately waged war. We prayed and fasted. And each time I visited her in the hospital, she was dying. 
I even stopped for that test on her. But I couldn't tell what it was. Say something, please. Pick the microphone. I know most of you are angry with me. Some of you even hate the sight of me. It's all right. You're all justified. I was not fair to Grace. But you all did not know the agony I've been going through. Because grace was the best thing that ever happened to me. The best thing. When I was in the world, I lived by the dictates of the world. I hurt those who hurt me harder. My cold was two eyes for an eye. But it did not help me. It did not give me peace. It did not give me happiness. I infected Grace. And I was angry with God. Why her? Why not me? I still remember her parting words. She said, Honey, I've done my own part. Carry on the good fight. Never you ask God why. Believe that His plans for you are plans of good and not of evil. Then, the light dawned on me. I had given my life to Christ, but I didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Grace was strong for me when I was weak. God needed me. He had to break me to get me. I am broken. Please. Forgive me. Forgive me. How many of us believe that Grace, she's in heaven right now? Yeah. Grace, we all can bet for. Now, how many can honestly say in right now, with all the malice, disbelief, anger, her body in our hearts, that if he or she dies, he will make heaven. Let the life grace lived be a challenge to us. Her life is a challenge to all Christians. I know right now, that grace will be praying for us to join her someday in the golden city should we be mourning that grace 
is in heaven. Don't we rejoice? Her life was short, but well spent. I therefore employ us to join her in her fight. Let us fight and walk the good works that grace lived for. We should sing to her, not her sing to us. Let us sing. Please, permit me to, to do this special song for grace. Jim, please. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was once lost. But now I'm found was blind, but now.